Dozens of the families will have gifts and warm clothes for Christmas thanks to Jonathan Kirk. You might know him as the rapper DaBaby. Yesterday, he hosted a giveaway at the Eastway Drive Church of God in East Charlotte. There were toys, scooters, TVs, jackets, and more, all for families in need. Kirk says it was his mother that taught him the importance of giving back. Even while struggling, she always helped somebody else. She always gave back. She always helped somebody else, even when she needed help herself. So that's something that's been instilled in me, you know. That's in my heart. I get help from my mother. After 14 months racing Supercross, doing free ride events, hosting events, I decided I needed a break. Spend the holidays with the family, not even think about dirt bikes. That's what I did, but that didn't last very long. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. Whoa, dude. Look at that. Two. Two full fatties. Full size 450s back of the tundra. Going to close? Uh, let's see. That's a professional load up right there. Hot take of the day. Prado and freeze. <laughs> First quarter, it's going off, dog. I'm calling it now. It's December 31st, day before uh, the 2024 season. I'm calling it. I'm feeling it. If freeze makes it through practice and Prado makes it through practice, it's going to be hell on wheels going into the first, the first quarter. I got them thick gloves. Oh man, you got that Canadian spec on. Yeah. Alright now boys and girls, we're gonna come in here and you know slingshot right up this hill right here. You watch this. Oh and he does a donut. Getting down the hill is a sketchy part. How's the A1 prep for everybody else going right now? It's a little, it's a little more intense. I'm not doing A1. <laughs> what up? It's January 1st, and uh, I don't know. I woke up this morning, went to the gym, started watching A1 from last year, and um, I'm gonna. I just got a new motorhome. It's got a garage in the back, so I can take bikes with me. And I was had this idea I was going to drive out to Anaheim and go watch and hang out with my little brother and go free ride out in the hills if it was raining and just have a little, you know, park my motorhome out in California so I can fly out and have bikes and just, you know, not be, if we get a bad week of winter out here in North Carolina on the East Coast, I'll just hop on a plane and go to the West Coast. Then I got to thinking, I'm still in pretty good shape. I've got good bikes. I want to park my motorhome in the pits. I don't have to pay be, I have to pay 150 bucks to go park out in the tailgate section. Maybe even more. Maybe 250. Or I can pay 250 bucks, sign up, possibly make money. I mean, you think you get like 1,500 bucks for making the night show? And uh, hang out. I got some sponsors coming in from the East Coast. Never been to A1. Uh, the Hampton Restoration guys, Mike Hampton and his crew. I called him up. I'm like, should we race? He's like, yeah, if you want to, do it. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to sign up. I'm going to go practice real quick. Make sure that I'm not uh, 
too rusty. I mean, it was only a month that I, I just took a month off of full training. Might feel better. I don't know. No pressure. Hang out with my dad. Have my dad be my mechanic. Molly be my uh, helping me out filming. Got the rig. Bike's already there. I don't know. Hey, what's up? Michael Mitchell. We're out here in Harmony, North Carolina. Burning some laps on the Supercross track. hitting the road. Hi Molly. This thing about ready to hit the road? Yeah. Almost. I really wish you <laughs> Too bad. Watch Supercross here when I'm not racing it. Then come to the back. We got that locked. So anyways, yeah, garage. Wash and dry. See how many bikes we can fit in here. Couple beds up top. Yup. Santa Cruz Heckler's fully charged. Stark Bard fully charged. And got my Suron fully charged. Simple as that. Seven thirty in the morning. Just rolling into Little Rock, Arkansas. special delivery the monster guys they brought my race bike straight here for me I do a little unveiling check that out still got glamis sand on her you gonna tap it or are you gonna put a heel coil on you will make it through press. What you got in there? It's empty. Oh, it's empty? Yeah, it's great juice. <laughs> great juice. You never know. That's why they drop the game. Yeah. Uh, if we can decide who won, we don't even need to come in. Right? That's what makes racing so great. It's so unpredictable and so difficult. And remember, even in the match, it was such a non event. And he's out for the entire rest of the year. Uh, that is what the unpredictability of Monty is.
I didn't really show up to Anaheim this year with much of a race face. I just really wanted to be there at the event, and being a part of it seemed to make the most sense. Missed qualifying for the main by two straight out of the heat race, and in the LCQ, just got a terrible start and was buried. Couldn't really go anywhere. But my brother was able to get the LCQ win, and I was able to be down on the floor sharing it with him and my dad. That was a pretty special experience. So this year's not so much focused on racing, at least at the beginning of the year. Going to just do a lot of free riding, doing some video content, and try to share it with you guys. So thanks for following along, and uh, I'll have plenty more to come soon. Thanks for watching.